I'm from a small West African country, Liberia. And because of the Civil War, my wife and I fled Liberia. We had no intentions of leaving. But when the war came, we decided we had to survive. And that's how we started that process to come to this country. I'm Wilmot Collins, and I'm the mayor of city of Helena, Montana. When Wilmot Collins gained refugee status and moved to the United States in 1994, he came to Helena, Montana, a town of about 30,000 people that doesn't see a lot of change. More than two decades later, he decided to run for mayor of Helena, challenging a popular 16-year incumbent. When I became an American, I said, I wanted to run for office, but as time would come closer and closer, I got scared because I didn't know the processes. I wasn't trained to be a mayor. Come on, guys, let's eat. Last year, my son came home and said, Dad, we need to talk. Your time is now. You have to run. He pushed me and pushed me, and finally I said, okay, I'm going to run. And I didn't run on, on a refugee platform. I ran on a platform that would serve my community. Hi, how are you? I met with people. I participated in every political public forum that was held. I didn't shy away because I knew the hard questions had to be answered. In Helena, Montana, a first-time candidate beat a 16-year incumbent. The first African-American mayor in Montana history. An unlikely leader in a state where only half a percent of the population looks like him. You know, when I, when I got elected, it immediately became overwhelming, I have to tell you. Within the first nine days, we had 30-plus interviews from everywhere. So when Huffington Post called and said, how does it feel to make history? I said, what history? I was just running a small town election. I said, no, are you aware you're the first African-American mayor in the history of the state of Montana? I said, no, I didn't think about it. They said, and to crown it off, you're, you're a former refugee. As time went on, I realized it was more than just me. If I, Wilmot Collins, could do that here in Helena. Others can see and say, hey, we can emulate him. I have opened up the door. The day-to-day -day is busy, no doubt, but it's rewarding. Discussion administrative services, we have no... And I think the city is doing well. Interacting with the community it's very important. That's why the first Wednesday of the month, I meet with the community. I say, hey, talk to me. What's going on? How can we make this place a better place? How can we continue to work together? I'm pleased to say that my community is one of the most accepting community you can think about in this country. A lot of people have their own interpretation of who a refugee is, but um, it's not fun fleeing your country, fleeing what you know, going into a totally strange environment that you know nothing about. Coming into this country, when I got in, the first thing I started hearing was people say, oh, the immigrants, the refugees, they're going to suck up our resources. They're not gonna to contribute to this community. It's not true. We wanna give back to our host country. We wanna give back to the country that gave us that second chance. This is our country and we will do the best for it. Thanks for having me.